hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful sleeve you can see on the screen right now so if this is what you want to learn please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial first of all if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to join this beautiful family by hitting the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified once i upload a new video okay so guys you can see these are the materials we are going to be needing for this tutorial first of all i have my pattern master if you have been following my channel and my tutorials you know i always make use of this it is very important i have my crino line it is very very important for this sleeve okay then this is my paper gum i have my scissors my chalk of course my tip is on my neck then i have my my fabric all right i've already made down the flat gown which i'm going to be attaching this sleeve into it okay maybe by the time i put it on mannequin you're going to see the full gown but then we are going to concentrate on the sleeve all right so first of all you're going to be needing your sleeve block if you have a sleeve block but for this particular tutorial i'm going to be cutting the sleeve from the beginning okay so what i want to do now is to fold my fabric into four all right because i'll be cutting out the two sleeve at once so what you want to do is fold your fabric into four so you can see that folded into two not waste your fabric go ahead and use the biggest part of your arm okay has is 20 inches so i'm going to make sure that i have about 10 inches plus extra which i'll be using for my allowance okay so i have what i need i'm going to go ahead and fold again so making this fold into four places okay so now first of all you are going to determine the length of the sleeve and usually this sleeve should end around the that is the normal sleeve should end around the elbow okay so that your flare can fall up to my flare of course is going to be just four inches because i'm going to be making use of this crinoline and this crinoline is about three inches okay so if you are making use of crinoline of two inches you can make your flare to be three inches but now i'm making use of crinoline of three inches so i'm going to make my my flare to be five inches okay i hope you guys understand so first of all i'm going to mark out the length of my sleeve so for the length i'm going to start from this upper part and then measure down to 15 inches okay so i want this sleeve to end right at 15 inches i'm going to go ahead and mark that is 15 inches before i add up my flare all right i hope you guys understand so now i'm going to go ahead and mark out my biceps our bicep usually falls between eight to seven inches so i'll go ahead and mark the next step i'm going to take is to measure the cap height okay so for the cap height i'm going to use both circumference divided by 12 plus 0.5 inches that is 0 0.5 inches so i'm going to go ahead and mark so her bust circumference is 38 so 38 divided by 12 is 3.1 plus 0 0.5 inches so i'm going to have 3.6 right so i'm going to go ahead and on this part mark out 3.6 but i'm going to be making use of 3.75 which is closest to 3.6 okay so now that i've marked out 3.75 next i'm going to go ahead and insert her round armhole okay so her round armhole divided by 2 is 10 i'll mark and then next thing i'm going to do is use my ruler and connect just like this and you see now once i am done connecting i'm going to go ahead and divide what i have here which is 11 inches into two i'll divide it 
and then I'll come up by half an inch. So after I come up by half an inch, I'll go ahead and use this part of the ruler and connect like this. And then I'll turn it over like this. And then I'll connect. I hope you guys understand. So now that I'm done with that part, I'm not going to go through the process of cutting out the back and the front armhole, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'll go down to the elbow, and her elbow, the round elbow is 11 inches. I'll divide it by 2, and I'll have 5.5 inches. So I'll mark 5.5 inches, and then I'll go ahead and add... 1.5 inches for sewing allowance okay so i'm going to come over to this place and measure this so that i'll be sure i have up to 10 inches so you can see i have 11 inches here okay so i'm going to add another half an inch which is making it 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance okay and i will go ahead and connect just like this and you see that we have our sleeve so i will cut it out so you, i you can see that we have our basic sleeve okay so let me open it up so that you can see that we have our two sleeves can you see so what i'm going to do next now is I'm going to keep this like this and then from here from this part okay I'm going to go ahead and come up by I'm going to come up by six inches okay and then on this part I'm going to remove my sewing allowance which is 1.5 inches and then i'll connect just like this okay i'm going to connect this like this and then i'll place this on top of this and then cut the two at once okay so this place that i just cut out is where i'm going to be inserting my flip all right so now you know that we need half an inch to join this okay so i'm going to cut from here okay so that we can have something like this can you see so this is where i'm going to be inserting the flare now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out lining for this okay so i'm going to do that off camera and then after i cut out the lining the next step we are going to take is we are going to measure around this part okay so now i'm going to measuring like this okay so you can see what we have we have 16 inches all right now this 16 inches is what i'm going to use to cut out the radius of my flare all right so i'm going to put this aside right now then bring in our fabric again so that we can cut the flare so guys this is the fabric i'm going to be using for the flare and remember what i told you i have my the width of my crino line is um three inches so i'll be cutting out flare of five inches okay so that by the time i fold with half an inch and then join this um, flare to the the actual sleeve by half an inch what i will have remaining is um four do you understand so guys um i'm going to keep this aside now and we fold our fabric so here is the fabric i'm going to be using now I'm going to fold this into four. I'll fold that into two. I'm going to fold it again and then fold again. Do you guys understand? Now, here is the trick. 
um i want to cut this flare to be very full do you understand so i'll be cutting out 360 degree flare into two which is 720 okay and to cut out this 720 i'm going to divide 16 which i got from measuring the around my sleeve around the actual sleeve 16 divided by 2 will give me 8 now this 8 this 8 i'm going to plus in plus 1.5 inches 8 plus 1.5 which is for my sewing allowance divided by 6.28 so the radius i'll be using now is 1.5 inches so now you can see i've folded my fabric into eight okay i folded into two folded again do you understand and then fold again so now this 1.5 inches plus five will give me 6.5 so i'm going to ensure that i have up to 6.5 around this part and then 6.5 around here which is even more than so what i have here is eight and here i have more than eight so i have enough fabric to cut this out okay so now i'm going to start from this part of the fabric the folded part can you see and i'll measure the 1.5 inches so i'll measure 1.5 inches which is the radius can you see and then after that i'll go ahead and measure five inches so i hope you guys understand so you can see now i'm going to go ahead and cut this out okay so guys once i open it you can see i have this is 360 into two okay so i'll be using this for one all right now i'm going to fold another fabric and then cut out for the other part of the sleeve okay so this is another material i'll fold it into two can you see folding again and then fold again okay so now i'm going to ensure that this part is aligning with this part okay and this part aligns with this part do you understand so i'm going to place it like this sorry i'm going to place it like this and you see so here is double can you see now we align it with this part which is also double and here is totally folded i'll align it with here which is totally folded and then i'll cut it out okay so guys you can see i have another two 360 degree flare so this two now is 720 okay so next thing i'm going to do is i will go ahead and use my interface to place on top of this okay i will place my interface on the wrong part of this fabric and then i'll come show you guys how to join this together because you are still going to slit this and then join them together okay so guys here is our circular flare you can see i've um i've actually cut this out into eight pieces okay first of all we cut out four right but we also need um, this same material for the lining piece so i went ahead to cut it off camera so now to open this up okay because we need to join the two together okay so what i'm going to do is locate the middle and then i'll cut one part of this just like this 
and now to this part to avoid having line right at the center because if i cut it just once and then join it right here i'm going to have like line in the middle okay so to avoid that what i'm going to do is to divide this into two equal parts so i'm going to cut like this and then cut again like this so now to join it i'll ensure that i have the right side facing each other just like this i'll use half an inch to join it okay and then i will equally join this one by this side and then open it so that i'll have it to be long okay so i'll go ahead and do this for another one so i've actually cut this just like this okay so i'm going to divide this into two and i'll join this into this one and then join this part into this side okay so i will probably do the same thing for the lining piece and then i'll come show you guys how to fix in your crino line okay so guys i am done joining this together you can see here is the actual piece that is the one that is going to be at the front that is the one i have my interface fused in so i have two pieces for it so one for one sleeve and one for the other sleeve and then here is our lining piece okay so you can see that this one i didn't bother myself fusing in any interface into it okay so now i'm going to bring in the quino line so here it is So what I'm going to do now is go sew this crinoline into this, okay? So you guys, you can see how wavy this is looking. This is because we made it to be 720 degree flare. Can you see? So without adding our crinoline, it's already coming out, okay? Now, I'm going to go back to my sewing machine right now and then sew this crinoline into this but before i do that i'm going to ensure that i secure this part okay because you know that this can be very sharp and if you don't secure it it will be poking on you okay or your client so right now i'm going to go back to my sewing machine i'm going to ensure that i have the right side of my actual piece facing the right side of my lining piece okay and then i'll go ahead and place in the crino line on top the lining okay and i'll sew the hem using half an inch okay now after i sew this i'm going to also top stitch and then i'll come show you guys the next step to take okay so guys we are done fixing the crino line into the flare can you see what i have this is for one part of the sleeve and this is for the other parts so you can see how this is looking so beautiful right now this is the upper part of the sleeve okay i'm going to go over to my machine right now and i will sew this radius into this part okay so to sew this i'm going to start from this part okay and i'll sew using half an inch so the idea is what we have you can see i'm done fixing this into the sleeve okay so next thing i'm going to do now because if you wear this this might be showing beneath so what i want to do is go ahead and top stitch okay so if i want to top stitch this i'm going to top stitch it around the upper sleeve okay so i'm going to go over to my machine top stitch this and then i will also join the side seam so once i am done joining the side seam i'm going to fix this into the actual gown okay and then i'll put this on the mannequin for you guys to see so guys here is where we'll be ending this tutorial 
i hope you guys have been able to learn something today if you do please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done yet share this particular video so that more people can get to see it i'll see you in my next one bye